Tupolev Tu-95, an aircraft that was way ahead of its time. Today we'll find out what makes this giant so famous, examine its weaponry, and have a look at it in battle. Created under the direction of Andrei Tupolev, a distinguished Soviet engineer, the Tu-95 was conceived as an answer to the threat of nuclear war. The missiles available to the army at the time could not deliver a nuclear charge to the other side of the globe. So there was a need to create a big bomber with a range of up to 12,000 kilometers. It also had to be made within tight deadlines and use existing designs. The aircraft created was the Tu-95. Equipped with the NK-12 engines, it is one of the fastest and at the same time one of the loudest propeller-powered aircraft in the world. The advantage of these engines is that they have coaxial propellers and a lower thermal signature compared to jet engines, which lowers infrared detection. The cruising speed of the aircraft can reach 900 kilometers an hour, although it's still inferior to the American eight-engine strategic bomber, the B-52 Stratofortress. For a long time, the Tu-95 was at the core of the Soviet Air Force, and it remains an important part of the Russian Air Force to this day. It can perform various tasks from surveillance to striking surface and sea targets. The Tu-95 can carry a wide array of missile weaponry and, naturally, bombs. The maximum bomb load is 9 tons. More recent modifications have 8 underwing mounts for Ha-101 missiles. Depending on the modification, the aircraft can use several 23mm autocannons to defend against enemy fighters. In modern warships, the Tu-95 is equipped with two types of missiles. The powerful subsonic Ha-55 can be used to attack distant targets, while the supersonic anti-ship Ha-22 shines at medium fighting distances. You can use a full range of bombs while you approach the enemy. It's the PKB-500U drill cluster launcher that sends six half-ton bombs, the KAB-500KR guided bomb with automated guidance, and the KAB-250 manually guided bombs. Aircraft of this type have repeatedly flown over the North Pole, the Atlantic, and the Pacific Oceans. In 1959, it took part in the testing of the world's most powerful thermonuclear bomb. Its bomb bay even had to be expanded for this task. The power of the explosion was so enormous that the shock wave reached the aircraft 115 kilometers away from the epicenter, though it didn't cause significant damage. The Tu-95 continues to perform its duty in the sky up to this day, and you'll see it in modern warships very soon. Write a comment about the thing you like most about the Tu-95, and don't forget to mention your game ID. Three lucky players will receive this aircraft for their account. That's all I have for you today. Fasten your seatbelts and bring your seatbacks to the upright position. I wish you a pleasant flight, friends.